What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Paul here with another review. Can you imagine if I was like that? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to the best thing I've probably been sent so far. This is a 360 camera, and don't switch off if you're going, nah, I don't want one, or nah, I already have one. This is super, super cool. Uh, I'm not going to mess about. Let's check it out. I have zero understanding of what this is. Absolutely none. Mad V Mini. So it's some kind of 360 camera, but I don't know if it just spins its head around or whether it's got like, I don't know, some kind of camera all around it. Doesn't look like it. Maybe it's got two cameras. Two cameras back to back. I reckon that's it. Ah, uh, a pair of gerbil sized earphones. I have no idea what they're for. Some things I won't be reading. Goodbye. Let go of my stuff. Give me stuff. It won't give me stuff. Right, I'll have to. What am I going to do? Right, that's what's happening. Look what you made me do. I was correct. There's one camera on that side, and one camera on that side. And that plugs into your phone somehow. Let's see if that works. It does not. So I did read this as it was already in the post, which was annoying. I wish I'd read it previously. It doesn't fit uh, my Galaxy S7. So I need an adapter to turn that rounded thing into a bloody normal thing. That wasn't good thinking, whoever made this. Mad V. Mad V, you should have made it like every flipping phone in the world. But never mind, let's go find a way of connecting this to something. I've figured out what the ingenious tiny headphones are for. It is a protective case. It just slides on like that. Genius! So I figured the best way to demonstrate this to you was to basically export the footage from my phone to my PC because on my PC I have GoPro VR and basically that software works exactly the same as the Mad V Mini software does. Uh, I can scroll around with a mouse the same as I can with my finger. Uh, I can go up and down and left and right. Um, and this is about the zoom level as you get on the Mad V Mini. When you first export it, every piece of software you use wants to be in really close like this and uh, basically that looks grainy and horrible and ugly. The Mad V Mini software obviously intends it to be about there because that's about the zoom rate you get when you're playing around with the phone. Uh, and the software for the Mad V Mini basically has all the same functionality as this does. So I can, for example, change this to be uh, projection on little planet. And then I can do a little planet style thing where I do that and then zoom out. And we get me and Nisha walking on a little planet. Uh, you can do the same thing on the Mad V Mini, and you can do things like save those and share them to other things. Now look at that big heads. There's some big ass heads. Um, so that is about it. I think you can see the quality is really good for a hundred pounds because everything else kind of in this range of quality is nothing like this good. Um, look at this. This is cool. This is me crossing uh, the bridge in Dovedale. How clever! How terribly clever! We're living in the future, ladies and gentlemen. We're living in the future. So, yeah, that is about it. That's what the footage looks like. That's not all we can do with it, though. I can um, take this footage and use the same software, GoPro VR Player, and the clue is kind of in the title. Uh, I can stick on my virtual reality helmet and actually watch this in VR. So let's do that. So all I've got to do is drag the file into the GoPro VR Player and then go on an adventure. Cool, let's do that. Ah, look, my ugly face. Now oh, look, a very pretty face. That is not bad at all. Honestly, I've watched a lot of stuff in VR um, that's been kind of filmed for these kinds of purposes, like educational stuff, and the quality is basically just this good. I can't believe it. Uh, not much more to say. That's me looking around, and the camera is moving in perfect synchronicity. That's not a word. Anyway, that's it, it's done, cool. Image quality is excellent. You have a 13 megapixels here, and you have a 13 megapixels here, uh, and as we all know, megapixels are utterly meaningless. They mean absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, companies hype the hell out of numbers to the point where I can't trust them anymore, so I have to use my own eyeballs, which is why this video is here. Bodge <sighs> up, you scruffy looking sod. 
Also, stop staring at my crotch, that's very strange. Before he starts babbling on about how awesome the picture quality is of this thing, the picture quality is awesome, but it isn't as good as, say, the Samsung 360, which is actually in a very similar price range. I didn't realise this until after I'd finished filming this episode. I'm from the future, by the way, in case I haven't explained that already. So why bother buying this at all when you could spend a tiny little bit more money and get a Samsung 360 camera or something similar? And the answer is this. That is now in my pocket, and I can't feel it in my pocket, which means it can always go with me everywhere I go. So I don't have to have the forethought and planning to think, I'm gonna go out and take some 360 footage. I'd better pack my enormous Samsung 360 camera, which is more like this size. It's already with me all the time. And that is the advantage of this camera. So I'll let him babble on now about how amazing the image quality is. Uh, see you in a bit. So if you use your own eyeballs, you'll see that uh, the video footage is more than reasonable for something that is less than 100 pounds. Uh, the photos, the stills, are actually even better than the video. They do both, however, suffer with the same problem, that as soon as you export them from Mad V Mini and put them into something like YouTube or Facebook, uh, they kind of get right up close for some reason, right in your face. Uh, and the consequence is that you can see the pixels because 13 megapixels is apparently not enough pixels. So that's a bit of a shame. You can see this for yourself if you watch the video after this one. Uh, look at me whoring out my YouTube account. Uh, the video after this one will show you the whole date uh, that me and Nisha went on, that hot date. And you can spin the camera around for yourself and make up your own mind. What is OTG? OTG is where you take something like this, and something like this, and you plug that something into that something's USB port, and this thing can send information to this thing, and this thing can send information to that thing both ways. It's as simple as that. I don't know why it was so complicated for someone to explain that to me. Uh, if they had explained it to me, I might have understood that this thing wouldn't work with my Galaxy S7 Edge without a, a very specific adapter. You need an OTG capable adapter if you don't have a USB-C style connection. Uh, that is about it for the OTG side of things, but it won't necessarily work with your phone. There is a list of phones that is known to work with this camera in the description. It doesn't mean it won't work if you're not on the list, it just means it might not. Um, worth considering if you're gonna buy one, obviously. So the big question is, if Gearbest hadn't given me this to review for free, would I have bought it? And the answer is, I would buy the hell out of this thing. It is absolutely awesome. If you don't already own a 360 camera, this is a brand new string to your bow, and I've used it every family occasion since I was given it. Um, it is super exciting, and at the end of the day, if you think about what we buy technology for, it's to throw it in our friends' faces. Uh, don't literally throw this in your friend's face, because that wouldn't be very nice. But metaphorically, throw this right in your friend's stupid face, because he will immediately want to go out and buy one. Uh, the effects on it are just mind-bendingly cool. Um, the whole me being on a tiny little planet and walking around with Nisha just tickles me pink, and I can't stop looking at it. So the answer is 100% yes. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and visit me on social media. Come and socialize with me. Uh, if you want to help support my channel, there are a whole bunch of people do that on Patreon and PayPal, and I honestly can't thank them enough. Uh, those links are in the description too. Uh, if you want to support me without spending any money, uh, you can use my Amazon affiliate overall style link, and you can uh, bookmark it and use it every time you go and spend money at Amazon and I'll get a cut of the money and it will cost you not a penny. That's it. I'll see you next time. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Paul with a... <laughs> As if. As if. Uh, I'm not going to mess about. Let's check it out. Ted Rhymed. I'm a rapper now that I wear a hat. <laughs> seems to want to get right in your face like this. Um, and the problem with that is that I've got too far into the camera and I look an idiot. <laughs> it is uh, 13 megapixels.